Let's bring in our next guest as well. Ajay Vora is Head of Equities at Novama Asset Management. Ajay, good to have you with us here. Uh, good afternoon. You know, just to... I, I want you to talk about the capital market plays, etc. But just to begin with a broad sense of the market, because I think we spoke to you exactly about a month ago, uh, and uh, your broad view uh, back then was that things should remain a little ranged for a while, uh, right? Uh, do you still hold on to that view? We've just made a fresh high. It's possible, I mean, you know, you make incrementally small highs, but, I mean, it doesn't really go anywhere in a very meaningful fashion. Just your thoughts, Ajay. Yeah, hi, good afternoon, Prashant, and thanks for having me. Uh, so I agree that, you know, we are still maintaining the same view that uh, we'll be in this range and uh, we cannot, you know, pinpoint on a couple of hundred points here and there. But broadly, I think that, you know, somewhere between 21 and a half thousand to 23,000 should be the uh, decent range. And I think it's better we consolidate in this range for a while. Uh, the run-up has been pretty good. Last year has been fantastic with index itself moving up almost 30%. And mid and small cap indices up almost 50, 60 percent. Uh, so my sense is that you know uh, it's a good, uh, I would say, earnings-led rally. What we have seen, uh, it's better we consolidate and then maybe you know once we start getting more confidence about FI 26 numbers, uh, we'll see we'll start seeing a fresh leg to this. But uh, as we all know that you know market is all about sectors and stocks. So even within this range, there'll be a lot many stocks and sectors which will end up doing pretty well and outperforming the broader indices. Any opportunities you want to share with us? Any opportunities that you've spotted that you can talk about? So, Rima, we are, uh, you know, tactically, we are pretty positive on the whole metal space. And, uh, you know, as uh, you guys also have been discussing, uh, it seems that, you know, the data has really turned around uh, to some extent at the margin, I would say, from China perspective. And also, if you look at the steel prices also, uh, you know, over last three to four years, they have been in this range of around $500, 600 dollars so my sense is that any sort of pickup uh, globally and anyways we are entering a period where interest rates are likely to be you know softened and liquidity will ease out a bit maybe in the second half of the year uh, it it uh, gels pretty well for the whole commodity space uh, so i think that you know indian players are pretty well positioned right now uh, especially the integrated ones uh, i think that there is a decent upside uh, in the metal space going forward and another sector which we really like uh, and continue to like is the real estate space uh, the demand is just getting stronger and stronger every quarter. Uh, so I was just discussing with someone that, you know, at, at Pan India level, earlier we used to sell around 600 million square feet of residentials. Uh, right now we are selling close to 280, 300 million square feet in a particular quarter. So, you know, that, that industry has really become large now. And most importantly, we have seen a decent consolidation also within this space. So I, I think that, you know, a lot of pent up demand uh, for the first time buyers as well as you know people who want to upgrade uh, will play out will continue to play out over the next two to three years so okay. i think that you know, yeah real estate and uh, you know metals is something which we like from europe all right hi ajay good afternoon and good to see you We're nigel on this side uh, ajay if you could name a few stocks you know i recall we had discussed glenmark pharma vocat you know both those two calls worked out very very well i recall a few months ago on this show itself we talked about them even omcs is what we had spoken about so you've had a good run in the last four to five months or give us a couple of more stock names you've got reality as well as metal index if you want to get into those sectors and give us a couple of names or from any other sector so I think, uh, Nigel, you know, uh, specific stocks will be difficult. But as I said that, you know, within metals, uh, the integrated steel players are looking excellent. And uh, within real estate space also, you know, you need to pick uh, pockets uh, where the pricing power is there and demand is extremely strong, which is, you know, uh, something like Mumbai and Bangalore. Uh, and also, you know, to some extent, the NCR region. Uh, players have a very strong balance sheet right now. And uh, they are getting uh, incremental funds as well. So. My sense is that, you know, uh, if the demand continues to be strong, both these uh, sectors can do really well from here. But uh, Ajay, hi, good afternoon, so to be here. Now, the question hi. is that uh, I think that's something that people are grappling with across many sectors. Underlying demand trends perhaps are looking good and, uh, you know, no one's doubting the pure fundamentals. But the question is how much is baked in the price? Because stocks have also rallied. Real estate along with PSUs is the best performing part of the market in the last 12 months, right? So what about valuations? Yeah, so Surbi, we have seen that, you know, uh, we may continue to look at valuations uh, till a point of time. Uh, but if the earnings trajectory continues to be very strong uh, at the rate of, say, 20 to 30 percent, those valuations can sustain and maybe uh, also re-rate to some extent. 
So uh, smaller players, you know, still are pretty cheap. I would say uh, within both the sectors, uh, even within real uh, real estate, uh, there are players uh, who have decent land bank, and because of the balance sheet issues, they were not able to launch many projects. But uh, once that is sorted out, you know, these all names are also looking pretty interesting. So I, I think that you know valuations uh, uh, become a question where uh, earnings growth rate stagnates or maybe starts declining. But uh, if the earnings growth rate will continue at 20 to 30 percent, I think valuations can also sustain. On metals, the tactically bullish call that you have, is it for ferrous, non-ferrous? How long would you ride it out? So we are more positive on ferrous, uh, Reema. But uh, at the margin, you know, even the non-ferrous, uh, within non-ferrous, a couple of names are looking very interesting. Uh, you know, there has been a, 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 a company where, you know, a lot of, uh, issues has been there on the balance sheet side. Uh, we believe that, you know, if the commodity cycle uh, picks up from year on, over next 6 to 12 months, even those issues get sorted out, then the stock can re-rate. So within, you know, Ferris, uh, as I said, that the integrated players are looking very good. And within non-Ferris, you know, uh, that particular name is also interesting. Mm. Uh, Ajay, you know, I was talking about BSC earlier. Uh, do, you, do you own these names? What's your view? I mean, actually, Angel has done very well. I mean, actually, it's recovered. Uh, it had fallen. Uh, BSC had, uh, was consolidating. That's come up. MCX is up about 6, 6.5%. MCX, yeah. of course, is a monopoly in its space. BSC... Yeah, so Prashant, actually, if you look at it, you know, all these players, uh, what you talked about, uh, we all need to understand that at one point of time, the entire market share belonged to one particular exchange. The newer players or the or the players uh, who are not having that kind of market, if they manage to garner that incremental two, three, four percent, eventually it adds a lot of value to. To nine months, uh, BSE has done a phenomenal job in terms of gaining market share. And its uh, you know dominance in that space. Uh, BSE still has a long way to go in. All. So my sense is that you know this space is getting very interesting with more and more participation coming in, and we have seen to buy and participate. And these are the only mediums through which you can actually end up participating. So I think uh, there is a long, uh, you know, I would say opportunity, a very, uh, and uh, these names are still looking interesting. Mm. Okay, well, actually, even the Novama stock has done so well, right? All capital market-related uh, businesses. Oh, yeah. They have really boomed in uh, in the last couple of weeks and months. Uh, Ajay, where do you stand on IT? Because that's the next event that the market is moving towards. And Rima was telling us, I mean, consensus for something like a TCS earnings. It's all uh, lukewarm, right? Low to mid uh, single digits. That's That's the broad word on the street out there. But how do you look at stock positioning and what's the sense? So I think Surbhi that, you know, till the time we are not able to see, uh, uh, I would say at least above Nifty earnings growth. And, you know, this year uh, Nifty earnings growth will be closer to 20%. Next year we are building in closer to 15%. I think till the time we are not seeing large cap names growing beyond 15%, it will be difficult for stocks to outperform, outperform. And uh, therefore, I think it will be more stock specific within the whole IT space because this whole, you know, uh, cloud uh, transformation and the AI technology and the and number of other disruptions which are taking place, uh, companies who are at the forefront of that uh, will end up benefiting. Uh, but as I said that, you know, the larger companies have become too large and therefore, uh, you know, growing at that uh, on that base will become really difficult. So to till that extent, I would, I, I would believe that, you know, they will stay in this range uh, rather than outperforming the overall index. Mm. Uh, Ajay, what about auto? Last year, names like Tata Motors, Bajaj Auto, Hero Motor Corp, TVS, they all clocked in a double digit, uh, sorry, a triple digit return, 100% plus. Uh, it's not, the sector is not in your favoured list. Why is that? No, so auto, uh, Rima, we have been extremely bullish since last one year. In fact, you know, we had a massive overweight position in auto since last one year and that has helped us outperform. Uh, but from year on, uh, you know, it will be difficult because market has actually extrapolated the growth. And if you see that, you know, there has been a significant margin improvement on back of lower commodity prices, which we believe that, you know, can uh, turn around a bit, uh, not to a very large extent, 
but we have seen that you know whenever commodity prices move higher uh, there is a lag with which the companies are able to uh, pass on until that time you know margins can come under pressure but as i said that you know there can be couple of names within the auto space also uh, which can outperform but as a whole i think that you know if, even if you look at the growth contribution of the sector to the overall nifty growth uh, it used to be somewhere close to you know uh, 3 odd percent 3 to 4 percent it has now reached to somewhere close to 8 percent so my sense is that you know uh, anywhere between 8 to 10 percent the overall growth contribution uh, will stabilize and therefore we have seen this kind of performance last year when stocks have gone up almost 100 percent uh, I believe it will be more earnings growth led rather than valuation relating for most of the names from here on. Still an overweight for you, autos on the whole. So auto, we continue to maintain overweight, but not that significant what we had at the beginning of the year. From year on, we are positive on, you know, as I said, uh, metals, uh, pharma, and realty. real estate. Yeah. Okay, got that, Ajay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, good chatting with you today. Lots of perspective on a lot of different themes. And we look forward to the next conversation. Well, given that we were just